Hey guys, my name's Brock. Welcome to my YouTube channel and my first ever YouTube video. Uh, this is gonna be episode number one of a series I'm doing on my boat build. So I'll start by telling you a little bit about the boat. It's a 1983 Livingston uh, 12 foot twin hole fiberglass boat. My grandpa gave it to me. Uh, him and I used to do quite a bit of fishing together. This boat's pretty sentimental to me. Uh, it's not ideal for fishing at the moment, but there's no way I'm gonna get rid of it. So I started looking at ways I can improve it. And I came across some cool videos of guys doing like John boat to bass boat conversions and stuff like that. Um, I wanna give a quick shout out to Tiny Boats Nation, Adam Ryan, and Fire Ant Fishing. Those guys all have great content on this. If you guys are interested, check them out. But yeah, anyway, I couldn't find any good videos doing this type of boat or anything similar, really. Uh, so I'm just jumping right into it. Uh, I'm gonna figure it out on the way and I'm gonna film it and share it with you guys. So maybe it'll help somebody else out one day. But yeah, in this first episode, um, I'm just kind of going to walk you through uh, my ideas for the boat, what I've already got for the boat, and what I've already done to it, as well as um, starting the process of this project. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let me give you a rock around. Um, when I originally got this boat, it didn't come with a trailer. I had to buy a trailer. I didn't buy it like this. It was a regular little flatbed trailer the guy had set up for yard work. It was eight foot long. It's got a, it had a dump style bed on it. So it had a hinge this piece here was in further. It's extendable, but it was in further, shorter, and it had pins so you could move it and dump the bed. Um, I changed that. The, this piece was long enough. I extended it out to its longest point and I welded it up here. And then I added these supports here, give it more structure. And I built this for the front and I put the winch on it, put a little stop on it. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I welded that in here because the pins, it was all, you know, shaky. This would, when you set the weight on it, it would bow and stuff. So I just made it more structurally sound and welded it in there along with these guys, some angle. Um, I rewired the whole boat. It was kind of shot. So I put new wiring, new plug on it all the way back and loomed it everywhere that was exposed. I built these bunk boards, uh, just one by eights for the bottom and then two by threes on the side. Uh, it's probably not ideal for this type of boat, but I've hauled this on my flatbed, just a wooden flatbed on these and it's been fine. So I think it'll be good. We'll see if I have to make modifications in the future, I will, but. And I built these side bunks. Uh, we'll see how they work out. I just notched them here. They're tied up against on both sides, but the front of the boat is uh, tapered. So if I get it close, it should, you know, work its way onto the trailer. I think I'll be all right. But if I have to modify anything, I will. Uh, I also extended the back of this trailer. Uh, it wasn't long enough for this boat. And so I had to weld in a section here. Uh, just some two by three tubing. And then I added another cross support on the back. Uh, these were on the trailer originally. I cut them off and moved them back. They're just like little tie down guard deals. 
I'll probably add some other tie down spots if they don't work out, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, I put new lights on the back. <coughs> Tires are new when I got it, so that's nice. Anyway, enough on the trailer. The boat is pretty much basic right now. It's just had two seats in it. Um, rod holders on the side. I already started taking stuff off before I started filming this. I almost forgot. <laughs> um, I'm going to take those out. They bolted them through the floor. You probably saw earlier when I was under there. I got to pull those off and then patch all these holes that they made in this boat. And I'm probably going to pull these wheels off because I won't need those anymore. And patch those holes up best I can. Clean this thing out, of course. Um, and yeah, I'm going to deck it up front, four foot back. It's going to drop down to this middle piece. Um, and then I think I'm going to have a cabinet that's kind of up levelish with the side and then come out and then drop and then end back here. We'll see. I, don't, I haven't really decided on that yet, but I'll, I'll post a picture of some of my drawings that I've done. I've done like six drawings trying to figure this out. But. I just need to get started on it and see what's going to work and what's not, you know. But anyway, I got carpet and some redwood 2x2. Two two. This stuff's super light. It's pressure treated. I'm going to try to frame it with this mostly. Uh, we'll see how it works out. And then, yeah, I got some 5x8 CDX rated plywood outside for the front, for the decking, I mean. And then, I already have a motor for this. It's a it's a Honda 7.5 horse. I, I have a guy that wants to sell me a bigger motor. It would be nice because this thing doesn't push it very fast. It's pretty slow and I'm going to make it heavier. So it's going to be really slow if I don't get a bigger motor. This guy has a 25 horse Johnson he wants to sell me. Um, I picked up this trolling motor. It's a 24 volt Minn Kota. Um, it's just got the remote control. I'm going to try that out and see how it works for me. This thing is supposed to have iPilot, which would be awesome. If you don't know what iPilot is, it's like if you get in a spot, you can hit your anchor button and it'll keep you in that area automatically. You don't have to throw anchor, which would be awesome because throwing anchor in this boat kind of sucks and then pulling it back up and then trying to find another spot to fish and throw an anchor without drifting into the bank, you know. You know how it is. You guys probably fish. You watch this kind of stuff, just like me. But we'll see how that works out. I'm excited about it. I got a couple batteries over there on the floor for it. Um, let's see. What else was, was I going to show you? Oh, I got a fish finder already. I bought this from the same guys with the trolling motor. It's a Hummingbird Helix 5. There's the box for it. So, see how that works out. Yeah, I'm thinking trolling motor, that side, fish finder, this side. We'll see. But, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm just going to keep going away at this. I'll try and film as much as I can without hindering me too much. And show you what I can.
a new day. Continue on with this project. I gotta do some fiberglass repair. So I got holes for the bottom of the boat now from removing those old seat pedestals. I got holes in the sides of the boat and the back of the boat. So I'm gonna start with the ones in the bottom because the way you gotta do this fiberglass is lay some, we'll clean it up really good. We're gonna bevel the holes, um, sand it a little bit, wipe it with some acetone, get it nice and clean. And then you mix up some resin, paint it with the resin, lay your mat, paint it over with the resin, lay another piece of mat, paint it over, lay another one. As many layers as you want to do or you, as you think you need to do for a good backing on this side. And then you're going to let it sit and dry before you can flip the boat over and do the other side and fill it with something. Uh, you can do fiberglass mat and resin in the hole and get it built up if you want. Um, some people, I guess, do gel coat. I got both. I got some gel coat off Amazon, just this stuff. So we'll see. I'll definitely put that on the bottom side of the boat when it's done. And I also already got some fiberglass resin and some mats cut out. So I got this at Home Depot. We'll get going on her.
right guys that's the video i hope you enjoyed it like i said this is a series so there's going to be more videos coming out throughout this project um if you guys have any questions uh or something you want to see on these future videos leave them down in the comments and i'll do my best to get back to you guys thanks for watching